I was absolutely floored. I, you just would never imagine in a million years that something could happen like this. Several months ago, Andere Sachs got an alarming phone call. Her newborn baby had just tested positive for illegal drugs. Problem is, Andere hasn't given birth in years. As much as I denied it, they just kept insisting that, yes, I was the mother of this child. There was nothing that I could say to get out of it. To make matters worse, authorities showed up at her door the next day, calling her an unfit mother and threatening to take away all four of her kids. When you know you're innocent and you didn't do anything wrong, it just absolutely, I just, I was in tears. I was a wreck. Turns out, Andery was the victim of medical ID theft. Someone had stolen her driver's license, walked into a hospital, and had a baby, leaving Andery with a $10,000 bill and a fight to clear her name. Do you think it's a big problem? It's a huge problem. Chris Dorn is a fraud expert with Ingenix, a company that tracks medical ID theft cases. He says victims have more worries than just fraudulent doctor bills. Your medical records can also be altered, with the crook's information substituted for your own. Inadvertently, your blood type can be changed, uh, your medications that you're on that can be changed, your underlying medical conditions can be changed. Which can be life-threatening. Certainly. That's a scary thought. It is. To crack down on the problem, some hospitals like this one outside Hartford, Connecticut, are now asking number? patients for proof of identification. Could I do driver's license or a photo ID and insurance card? Administrators say the policy went into effect after a rash of medical ID thefts, and it's working. About two to three times a week we have patients that come in, Then when we ask them for the ID, they'll say it's in the car, go out to their car and don't return. Come here. Andere Sachs says her fraud case wreaked havoc on her life. She had to take a DNA test to prove she wasn't the mother of the drug-addicted baby, and she fears the long-term damage that may have been done to her medical records. Am I going to have some emergency someday in my life and I'm going to show up at the hospital and they're going to give me the wrong, wrong blood type because they still have her blood type in my files? I just don't feel safe anymore.